the prayer which Jesus taught our father who is in heaven it is a prayer for the whole world it is not my father our father Jesus taught this prayer so that we may pray for the whole world our father who is in heaven holy be your name in the whole of mankind that every human being be sanctified be holy even as god is holy our father who is in heaven holy be your name in all the world thy kingdom come the rule of the holy spirit being filled with the holy spirit let every human being aim at and work for and finally experience the coming of the kingdom of heaven into their life let them be filled with holy spirit thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven what is thy will luke 36 the whole mankind will see the salvation of our god that is the will of god not even one to perish second peter 3 9 not even one to perish and to get destroyed and lost but every one to be saved first timothy 2 4 to 6 first timothy 2 4 to 6 god desires everyone to be saved because jesus christ son of god paid himself as a ransom for the sins of the whole of mankind hallelujah first john epistle of john first john chapter 2 verse 5 jesus christ is the sacrificial offering for our sins not only for our sins but for the sins of the whole of mankind jesus is the sacrificial offering for our sins not only for our sins but for the sins of the whole world starting from adam and eve to the last human person that will appear on the face of the earth praise the lord hallelujah so everyone has a right to be saved and to have eternal life because jesus the son of god paid the price for the sins of the whole world hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah 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 somebody doing living in united states a man from kerala once he came to me and said years ago when this ministry was started in pota which is six kilometers away from here there was in a preaching session he was attending he said it was announced that somebody having a lump in the hand is getting healed when that preaching session was over he went out 
and called his wife in Miami, USA. Look on your hand whether the lump is healed. It is announced here, somebody having lump is healed. The woman looked and the lump is already healed while the husband was attending retreat in Pota. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our God is a God of infinite love. Do you believe? Jeremiah 31.3 God says, I have loved you with an everlasting love. Irrevocable love. Even if you deny God, I cannot deny you. I will be loving you, coming after you, calling you back from away from your sin. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Hallelujah. God is a God of infinite love. God is a God of infinite mercy. He is a God who waits to forgive the sins of mankind, to wash away the sins of mankind by the infinitely precious blood of Jesus, the Son of God, shed on Calvary. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Our God is a God who is waiting to forgive our sins and to heal our diseases and to give us the gift of the Holy Spirit, the fullness of the Holy Spirit, which we had but lost by the sin of Adam and Eve. He wants to give back whatever we lost by sin, we are given back by faith in Jesus, the Son of God, who lived and died for our sins, and he was resurrected with glory for our justification, sanctification, and for our getting back whatever we lost by the sin of Adam and Eve. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 In 1987, in Pota, six kilometers away from here, this evangelization ministry was started. It was a new beginning for the previous 10 years. I was going around Kerala and outside preaching charismatic retreat, which is meant especially for Catholics, Catholic Charismatic Renewal. It was by its nature and definition, it was not directly meant for non-Christians or non-Catholics. Maybe one or two came to attend. But in Buddha, the Lord gave a new beginning. How the Lord gave the new beginning? Whenever people came with their problems, maybe financial problem, alcoholic addiction, sickness, whatever, the Lord said, don't go on praying for, take away my cross, take away my suffering, take away this problem, but rather you start praising and thanking for God for your problems, so that by praising and thanking, you may be filled with Holy Spirit and you may be freed from your continuous sorrow and complaining and negative thinking so that you may be filled with Holy Spirit and receive the most needed inner healing and peace of mind. Believe God will change the entire situation and problem for a higher blessing. Romans 
8:28 Romans 8:28 say after me 8:28 to those who love God those who are called by God God will turn everything for our higher welfare hence God started to give instruction go on praising and thanking so that you will receive Holy Spirit in abundance you will receive the most needed inner healing don't stop there don't stop with your problem your need your family pray for thousands of other people who have similar problem similar need Lord have mercy watch them in your most precious blood fill them with the Holy Spirit miracles and healings for thousands for thousands for tens of thousands that prayer of intercession was revealed in Potter in 1987 onwards and when we pray for thousands of others they are touched and healed by the Holy Spirit they may be in India or outside such people suffering people and they started searching for this kind of evangelization standards and coming to our center where from we started crying for others even now thousands of people every week are coming here because of continuous intercession for others maybe in this state neighboring state north india outside india people are touched because the prayer of intercession is the prayer which jesus makes after his resurrection ascension seated at the right hand of the father jesus is interceding before the father forgive them they do not know what they are doing forgive them father i have died for them i have carried upon my shoulders the punishment which is due to their sin i am carrying their sickness their sin punishment and i climbed on the cross of calvary so father forgive them give them a free gift of forgiveness in my name for my sake and god is sending a free gift of forgiveness of sin because jesus is interceding and we followers of jesus are interceding along with jesus hallelujah and thousands and millions of people are blessed by our intercession and they are coming to experience the infinite love and mercy of our God spending five days or one week retreat hallelujah praise the Lord hallelujah 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 there was a certain widow who was not getting justice she went on asking for justice to the judge but he was looking for some bribe he was not ready to give her justice finally when he goes home she started going home and again asking for justice Luke 18 1 to 8 Luke 18 1 to 8 finally this judge said I am fed up with this woman even he is coming even to my home even when my guests are there let me give justice to her and Jesus is asking do you know what this unjust judge said if so how much more the heavenly father will give you the justice you need what is the justice you need fullness of the Holy Spirit which we lost by the sin of the first parents 
God is ready to give you a great anointing of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. But you should have that earnest desire and continued prayer for the Holy Spirit. When Jesus was ascending into heaven, Jesus looked at the disciples. They were not much transformed, changed even after three years being with Jesus. So Jesus said, do not go out of Jerusalem, the city of suffering, where all the prophets were killed, where even Jesus, Son of God, was crucified. Jesus was crucified in Jerusalem, but he was resurrected with glory forever in Jerusalem. Don't run away from your suffering. Rather, praise and thank the Lord for your suffering. Without the knowledge of God, there is no suffering coming upon you. Hallelujah. 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 Why God allows suffering? Suffering may be allowed so that we may be purified of our selfishness and self-centeredness. God is allowing suffering. Again, God is allowing suffering so that we may become identified with the suffering Jesus who suffered and died for the whole world. Praise the Lord. As I was coming towards this talk, one lady and her daughter was there standing in front of the room. And she said, I have two and a half million debt and no income. The house we thought of selling, but nobody buys. I said, even 10 million or 100 million debt, God is able to help you. But this suffering, you have to accept from the hands of God and offer it. How many years old are you? 50. Offer it for 50 million sinners. Suffering is to be offered for the conversion of the world. Millions of people violating the commandments of God. You have to join Jesus to offer your suffering for the conversion of sinners, which is the most valuable thing according to God. Matthew 16, 26. If you gain the whole world, what does it profit you if you lose the, your eternal salvation? One person is eternal salvation. He is more precious and valuable than the whole world according to God. Praise the Lord. So we are called to work for evangelization of the world, for the sanctification of the world, so that everyone will repent and call upon the name of the Lord and be forgiven and will be transformed by the Holy Spirit and live and work for the kingdom of God and attain eternal salvation. Hallelujah. After some 70 years or 80 years, how many people will be in this world the, of these 7 billion people? All will have to undergo death. And some will be resurrected for glory, eternal salvation. Some will be losing their salvation. So Jesus came to call sinners to repentance. Praise the Lord. When the whole crowd was calling, Hosanna, Hosanna. Jesus was looking for one person 
under a sycamore tree. When he came under that sycamore tree, he looked up and called, Sakai, come down. I want to stay in your house today. Jesus came to call sinners to repentance. Mary Magdalene was a notorious sinner, but she became a very close disciple. And together with Mother Mary, she was beneath the cross where Jesus died. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Matthew was a tax collector, counted among sinners. He became the apostle. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The Gospel of Mark, Jesus said, Come and follow me. I will be making you fishers of men. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 What have we to do to come and follow Jesus? Jesus, though he was equal to God, he emptied himself to take the human form. He obeyed till the death on the cross. That was the will of the Father for the salvation of the whole of mankind. He was obedient to the point of dying on the cross. So Father, what the Father gave him, the name above all other names. What was the name? He was called Lord. You get to Yahweh in the Old Testament. Lord. God is called Lord Yahweh. That name was given to Jesus. And God said, Every knee should bend before the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Some of us, when you came from home, you had continuous cold. Cold, cold. Was there anybody of that kind? Just raise your hand. Praise the Lord. Please stand up. Those who had continuous cold, just examine whether it is already becoming dry inside. The, the cold is gone away by now. If so, wave your hand. If you are already healed of your continuous cold, just stand up. Wave your hand, others sit down. Those who got healed, stand up. One, two, three, four, five. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Every knee shall bend before the name of Jesus. Cancer, AIDS, every sickness, every power of darkness, all will kneel down before the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 One of the foremost thing God will ask us to receive the great anointing of the Holy Spirit, miracles and healings, you forgive everyone. Think of all the people who have offended you from childhood. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Pray a blessing prayer for all those who have caused some damage for your good name. Lord, forgive them. Bless them. Heal them. Bless them 10,000 times more than you bless me. Hallelujah. 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 And be ready to ask pardon to everyone whom you may have offended. Lord, I ask pardon. Forgive me. Forgive everybody. Hallelujah. 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 How many of you have already taken a very good, strong decision? I will bless the enemies and pray for their blessing. How many of you have taken a great, bold decision? This is a wonderful healing, wonderful anointing. It will bring great anointing. Praise the Lord. But Satan will continue to infiltrate in your mind and remind the past wounds. 
Then again we should bless them again. Lord, I pray for a 10,000 or a 20,000 or a 50,000 others who may be having um, a fight uh, among themselves or hatred. Lord, I pray for them. Not only uh, I forgive them, but I pray for several thousands of people who keep hatred. Deliver them. Free them. Fill them with the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. All of you lift up your hands. Just wave your hands. Right and left. Front and back. Maybe some of you are getting healing for your hand, shoulder pain and everything. Just put down your hands. Just move your hands, shoulders and experience the healing. How many of you, you had a shoulder pain or pain in the hand? How many of you? You had it. Now if it is gone, just wave your hands. Stand up. Stand up and uh, uh, lift up both hands and wave your hands. You got the healing of your problems in the hand. 13 persons got this healing. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Every healing reveals First and foremost, the risen Lord is in our midst. He is the healer. Praise the Lord. Sometimes people may doubt within themselves or devil may cause doubt. Oh, maybe Jesus is not alive. Maybe uh, he is dead and gone. Doubt is put into our mind by Satan. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God wants each one of us to pray for thousands of miracles and healings whenever you have a problem praising and thanking for your problem lord i pray that you will bless thousands of others with the miracles and healings that they will be become alive in their faith there is a living god in our midst praise the lord hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus.